in the not too distant future in Raleigh, NC. There was a girl named Janie, not too different from you or me. She wanted to be an engineer, so she worked real hard for all four years. She was just about to graduate when some psych majors from Chapel Hill they shot her in the space. We'll send her cheesy movies, the worst ever seen. She'll have to sit and watch them all, and we'll monitor her brain. But Janie was a state student, so she used her knowledge to invent some robot friends to help her through all those crazy awful movies without turning crazy too. Robot roll call, Campot, Misty, Todd Thermo. Whoa! If you're wondering how at Chapel Hill they could even pull this off, then remind yourself it's a silly show and just try not to scoff. Oh, University Science Theater 3000. Getting sick of space yet? Hmm? Not particularly. Well, we'll just see how long that lasts, won't we? It's time for the invention exchange, and you're going first. Well, all right. Well, what I have here is the Blunderbuster Mark II. And what it does is it takes things that are either intrinsically or incidentally in bad taste and makes them tasteful. For example, movie night. Grandma's over. Oh no, we can't watch Pulp Fiction now. Well, I'll just run it through the Blunderbuster. Shut up, hey! Go get the invention. As for you, little Miss Lost in Space, someone is forgetting who controls the oxygen level up there. Jeepers, sorry, Dr. Hollister. You should be. Remember, when you mess with the ram, you get the horns. Hank, Hank, where are you? Okay, guys, what I've really been working on is this remote little fast forward time once the meds make us go watch this week's awful movie. We'll be out of the theater in practically no time once I push this button. It's funny you should mention taste, Janie, as our invention is packed with it. Tell them, Hank. It's called gourmet and it is just delightful. This baby takes terrible dorm food named gourmet and Disgusting unidentifiable leftovers? Blunderbusters. He's got my uniform. Pretty sharp, don't you think? Push the button, Hank. 